Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or for more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Welcome back to Farm Factor. Let's go see Dwayne on the Grand Drive and meet the sheep judge. Dwayne Taves joining you once again with Ag AM in Kansas while at the Kansas State Fair for 2015 in Hutchinson as part of the Grand Drive, an opportunity to interview the judges who evaluated the livestock. Marvin Ensler from San Angelo, Texas, evaluating the sheep this year. And Marvin, a couple of long days, but uh, good days with good livestock. Oh, we had a lot of fun out here at the fair with the kids. Uh, they work a long time to get to this point and uh, to feed these animals and work with them at home for a long period of time to get to show day. And and so this was a big week for them, and it was a fun time for me. The quality was really good, and the kids do a great job of showing, and so it makes it fun to evaluate the lambs. As far as uh, the sheep industry, uh, a couple of different segments, if you will, particularly on the market side, uh, the lambs yesterday, uh, an awful lot of muscle that those lambs have, and, and that's a big part of the industry as of the, uh, late uh, here in the U.S. Yes, I think in the in the show industry, there's a little bit of difference sometimes in what's in the commercial world and what's in the show ring, but I think uh, in today's time, uh, we're probably closer to the uh, to the commercial industry in some respects. We're more moderate in our frame. We're, uh, we're wider base. We're kind of sheep that do good out in the real world as well as in the pen. And uh, muscle is, uh, you know, our product. And so uh, we need to always continue to have enough muscle in them. We need to, it to balance. We don't need to overdo anything. But I think uh, the sheep here are, are examples of what we're trying to do in a lot of other places in the industry is grow sheep that are productive that have muscle, that have a good carcass uh, merit to them, but still have a show look, if you will, in the end. Then on Sunday, you had the opportunity to evaluate uh, the breeding use, uh, both commercial and registered, which made things, uh, in the end, uh, a bit of a pick and choose when it got down to the final drive. Yeah, it's always interesting to do the breeding sheep because within the industry itself, and I have no problem with this, some people think we should all be on the same page, but there's room for a lot of diversity in the sheep and goat industry, and we know that in the sheep industry, there's the, the frame sheep people that like to have them uh, bigger in their kind that may be different, need to ma be managed different in the barn. And then there's those that want to emphasize the, the muscle and, and, and the productivity as far as being one that's easy to keep. And uh, when you go to uh, within the different breeds, there's some differences there. So today was my day, I guess you'd say, to give me my opinion. But uh, the, these young people go to other places, and other judges will line them up with a little more d emphasis in different areas. In my perspective, in the last uh, 15 years, we've probably seen more improvement in terms of quality of livestock uh, than in maybe any other time in history. I agree. I think that uh, for a long time, at least in the show ring part, uh, we've uh, swung the pendulum too far in different directions, and I think we've come to a point now where we have uh, sheep and, and swine and cattle uh, goats, uh, all of these species are really uh, kind of fit a lot of the things we need in the real world as well. Now they may, some say they may be getting a little too big in their weight, but that's because some of them age-wise just need to be allowed to have a little more weight to them. But uh, for as kind and and uh, and the way they're put together, I think we are closer to being where we need to be, and and uh, it's uh, that makes it fun. As far as the consumer's perspective, uh, unfortunately, lamb, pretty small section in the meat case, but it seems to be more prevalent maybe than it was 10 years ago. Yes, uh, the, something that uh, we've always worried about, uh, the fact that the, the lamb is a little bit more expensive than some of the other meats at the case, but what we're finding is there's more demand for it. It seems to be continuing to grow in the, in, in the United States. Our uh, market continues to grow, and that's really great for us in the sheep and goat industry and and there seems to be more people local uh, trying lamb more often and I think uh, appreciating uh, lamb for what it uh, brings to the table as well it's really uh, uh, something some are willing to pay maybe a little bit more for to have. Our thanks to Marvin Ensler with uh, San Angelo Texas evaluating sheep during the grand drive of the youth of 4-H and FFA members here at the Kansas State Fair in 2015. For Ag AM in Kansas I'm Dwayne Thames. Thanks for joining us today at the Kansas State Fair. I'm Jamie Bloom, your host. I hope you enjoyed our livestock judging stories from the Grand Drive. I'll see you next week on Farm Factor. We're here every Tuesday on Ag AM in Kansas. Closed captioning brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress, powered by Kansas farmers.